What's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, we have a special request from one of our Instagram followers. Uh, they messaged us asking when our next video was going to come out because I've kind of been uh, working real hard on our TikTok and YouTube shorts, which hit those links in the description if you want to follow us on TikTok um, or Instagram Reels. We post a lot of those. Um, but they were asking when our next YouTube video would come out. So I just asked them what they wanted to see. So in this video, they asked to see more of an instructional side to Doctor and Cattle. Tell me what ground works like. Great. Kind of a how to, or how do we do it when, when we doctor a calf, um, all the way down to the groundwork and the medicine. Now, we post a ton of this content at 310EDU, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. Um, but I did want to take this opportunity to, to show you guys an example of some of the stuff you would see at the member, on the membership site. So right now, we actually last week just shipped our yearlings that we were preconditioning here in Oklahoma, which a lot of you probably saw the video of dad kind of mugging that red calf in the trailer. It was pretty popular on Facebook and Instagram. So we got those calves shipped out. So we're kind of in between cattle at the moment. So I'm gonna piece together um, some of us doctoring from Wyoming and some of us doctoring here in Oklahoma to kind of give you guys, me, dad, or Abby's point of view of what um, we're looking for when we're doctoring as far as how we rope the calf, how we laid the calf down, and then actually giving the medicine. So every calf you see us doctor from last summer and the ones we doctored here in Oklahoma, um, they had foot rot. It, it's just basically where they'll get a cut or something from walking in some of this tough ground and it gets infected and they just need a shot. They cut themselves on a sharp rock or fence or in the trailer or something. They got a some kind of cut on their hoof and then that cut got infected. So we're treating them with just a general antibiotic to knock that bacteria out of there or that infection off of their hoof. Um, the treatment's pretty straightforward and how to treat the calf is, is pretty easy. We'll jump right into the video. Guys, thank y'all so much for subscribing and watching our content. We have a lot of fun making it. And if any of you have any questions or things you want to see, I'll do my best to show you here on YouTube. And if it's not here on YouTube, it's probably at 310EDU. What number are we looking for? 58? 54? Oh, okay. All right, guys, so pretty much what we have here is uh, this little black baldy that's walking from left to right down the fence is the calf that we need to doctor. Basically what me and Abby are doing is preparing ourselves uh, to get this calf rope. She's getting her camera ready and her rope down and I'm getting my rope ready. Uh, it's very important to prepare your tool before every single calf. So every calf that I rope, I'm going to make sure my coils are stacked in my hand correctly and that my, my rope is ready to do the job that I needed to do all the way down to feeding out of my hand uh, with smoothness or fluidity um, after I get the calf rope. So with the herd traveling down the fence like this, I know I'm gonna get some sort of standing shot here. And so that's what I'm gonna set up for is a hula hand traveling down the fence from left to right. That's kind of the shot that I, I love and that I'm gonna try to set up my calf's over here on the left, and, and it's already kind of a skittish calf, and so it's going to kind of squirt down this fence pretty fast, but the way it was acting, I, I kind of already knew it was going to do that. It's the black body right there to my left, and as soon as I start swinging, it squirts, but with one swing and a, a good hard throw down the fence, we get it caught. So from this point, uh, my job is to get short. Basically, what Abby's going to do is she's going to get the calf to kind of bounce off of the fence in front of me right here. And if y'all watch the YouTube video of us doctoring this calf, um, I, I kind of figured this calf was going to settle in these calves right here in front of me. And, and the calf doesn't really do that. She does it a little bit. She settles just a little bit. Um, but when I kind of start going to her to get short, she she kind of blows through this herd pretty quick. So I kind of trot uh, at a little, and, and break into a little lope here and get through the herd. And once she's separated, she's pretty much baha down this fence pretty hard. 
Now, I don't push my, my horse over onto this road because it's a rocky road for one. And for two, um, I don't want to push this calf into the fence any, any further than I have to. So I kind of shut everything down right here. And Abby's right there behind me. So once we get her bumped off into the middle of the pasture, I can kind of line this calf back out um, into open ground, which gives me an opportunity to get short. So right here, I'm going to pop my turns, and I'm going to take off running uh, into open ground. So I'm not pushing her back into a fence, kind of how I was uh, running down that road. And that gives me enough room to kind of get short on my rope and get her shut down before we get to the other side of the pasture. And at this point, uh, Abby can come in and get the calf healed. I have control of the calf. She's not running off or rimming around all crazy. Abby slips up there, throws a good heel shot and picks up one leg. Now, if we catch one leg um, in the pasture, we're gonna step the calf over pretty much every time. And all stepping the calf over, all stepping the calf over is, is pitching your slack out in front of this calf and letting it walk forward until you get it behind its front legs. That way, when you go to the horn and pull a little bit, the calf lays down. In a perfect world, you want either the same leg roped in the back, so she's got uh, the back left. I would want the front left in a perfect world, or you want both. Um, but honestly, guys, when you're out there doctoring every day, it's not that big of a deal. Just get what you can get and, and get the calf laid down as quick as possible so you can administer the medicine uh, the way it needs to be administered. So from here, as the header, I'm gonna do the groundwork. I'm gonna get short, I'm gonna tie off, and I'm gonna step off. It's very important that your horse knows uh, to keep the rope tight at this point, obviously, so you can get the healer short, so the healer can kind of take control of the calf and hold it while you give it uh, its shot. In this situation, Abby has the bottom leg healed, and I have the top leg stepped over, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to cross tie this this calf so basically I'm gonna double my rope and and slip it around the front legs and then I'm gonna split that doubled rope and put the back leg in it as you can see once you do that you take one wrap around the the back leg and then another wrap around the front leg bring it back to the top and just tie a regular old square knot and and I haven't had a calf beat me on that deal yet uh, from there, you can release the neck rope, and the calf's going to lay there and get doctored just fine. Uh, this takes off, all the pressure off the calf's neck. Abby still has control of the, uh, the bottom back leg, and your calf's really not going to go anywhere. They might struggle a little bit and flip over, um, but you got them tied down, especially cross-tied from, from, from front to back. Uh, they're not really going to give you any trouble getting up. Uh, period in the story. So with this calf, Abby has the med the medicine on her saddle. So I'm going to go get her syringe and get it filled up, and then doctor the calf. Okay. Well, that's 25. All right, guys. So when it comes to actually doctoring your calf, the amount of medicine you give is going to be based on the weight of the animal and the recommendation by the medication itself. So each bottle of medicine you buy will recommend how much to give based on the size of your calf. Now, whether you give the medicine subcutaneous or intramuscular is depending upon the, med the medication itself. So, with that being said, some medications can be given in the vein, some in the muscle, and some under the skin. Usually, the medication you use will have a recommendation on how to use it. So, always read your medicine bottles, and if you don't know, uh, contact your local vet and ask them how you should administer your medicine. Another very important thing is documenting which calves you have doctored. So you understand which calves are first treats or retreats or second retreats. The way that we do that is we notch the ear tag um, one, two, up to three times until you pull that calf and put it in a separate pen. But it's very important to keep a very good record of which calves you've doctored and what you've given them so you know 
uh, if your your treatment is actually working for those animals. So the goal at the end of the day, guys, is to take care of these cattle the best that we can. It's important to research the medications that we use and how to administer them to the cattle based on the disease that is affecting our herd. So we encourage you guys to, to research these medications and the best ways to handle your stock. These are some of the ways and strategies that we found that help us do the best job that we can when it comes to taking care of our cattle and our customers' cattle. Here, it was just like a little piece of leather like this. Oh. And I got on my saddle one time, I grabbed my cannel, and when I swung over, I kneed it. And it went all the way through my pinky finger. I was like, how, oh, God. <laughs> it, it. Wednesday of this week is the 28th of June, and we are starting our 4th of July sale. Um, use code 1776 to get 17% off all of the Alpha Series, all the wax cottons, our 310 hats, and 310 t-shirts. Guys, thank y'all so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your business, and we'll see you in the next video.